Hello, and welcome back to my studio. I'm Lisa Mitrokin, and today I have some really fun things to show you. Now, is this another pencil review, or is this a color along? I don't see why we can't have both. Let's color some amazing crystals using my new favorite brand. So if you've been with me for any length of time, if you follow this channel, you probably already saw my Monarch review where I did this Jack and Sally page. If you missed that show, just watch it. It's worth it. Also, if you already know me, you know that I have this absolutely overwhelming fear of the color green. But an amazing thing happened. Because of this, this particular box of pencils, the Black Widow Monarchs, I am now able to use green. But only from this set. This set has some of the most amazing greens I've ever encountered. Let's use them today. The page that we're working with today is very special. It's brand new and it's up on Patreon for all of my patrons of all tiers. So if you don't have this yet, go on Patreon and grab it. As always, I have pre-selected these six colors and black. I will be calling them out as I call it. But before we even start doing anything with color, let's prime this with white charcoal. I'm working on toned paper today gray toned paper. And this of course is a grayscale coloring page, but I printed it not just in black ink. I actually altered the image digitally to be a sepia image. So I printed it in brown colors. And I'm not going to prime this entire thing with white, just the parts that will be the lightest at the base of this crystal cluster that's growing out of her hand. And of course, her fingers are also transforming into crystals. And because I will be working a lot with glitter and glimmer here, I will prime them as well with white. And then we can move on to color. We will only do the crystal work today. None of the skin tones or the hair or anything like that. This is a crystal color along. So we'll, we'll stay on topic. Okay. That looks good. Now let's move on to our darkest green. This is opal. It's not really green. It's actually kind of a teal. And on this one, I'm starting with my darker color and I'm going to move down the gradient that I've pre-selected to my middle colors, to my lighter colors, finally ending up with my lightest possible green. That is not always the way I work. Sometimes I go from light to dark. Sometimes I start in the middle and then move up a tone darker and then a tone lighter. It all depends on the composition and there's just so much science behind how I decide what color to start with. But for the sake of this color along, we'll just go simple from dark to light. In my Udemy course on how to draw in color crystals, I go into full detail about the science of color theory, about the, the steps that I take in making these decisions of which color to start with, the actual technical detail of how to apply gradients, and much, much more. In part one of the course, you will learn how to draw in color a standalone crystal. In part two, we go in depth with crystal clusters. And in part three, I do geodes. This is a, a 34 lesson class and it's packed full of technical information on how to create these effects. And it ends with a, with a bit of a surprise. I don't want to give away too much, but my idea behind the class is that when you complete it, you'll be able to create effects like these from scratch and also working on coloring pages. So do check it out. The link is showing up somewhere here. Okay. That was Opal. Let's move on to our second color. This is Emerald. And I was talking with my patrons the other day about this about why I love the Black Widow Monarch set so much. Not that I suddenly don't like the other sets. I'm still a diehard Black Widow gal. It's the only brand that I work with anymore. Uh, but the Monarch set specifically, there's something about the texture of these pencils that's a little bit softer 
than all the rest of the Black Widows. They were already amazing, amazing wax pencils. But the Monarch, like, I don't know what Albert changed. Like he went with a different um, manufacturer or something. I'm not really sure about the details. I, I should just ask him. But somehow this particular set is just a touch bit smoother. It's like butter on paper. And it's this, this new quality, this smooth application of the wax onto the paper that allowed me to overcome my fear of green. But don't get carried away. I won't be using Prismacolor green or any other kind of green anytime soon. The only reason that I'm going with, with green is because this set is so amazing. And for this particular coloring, I intentionally picked greens that I haven't already used on this page. So these, these are all brand new pencils that I'm picking. And they're so strongly saturated as well. Like I usually apply barely any pressure to my coloring, but here it's ridiculous. It's like, I'm not even touching the page. There's no pressure needed to apply this color. It's so strong and so pure. The saturation is just spot on. All right, that was emerald green. Let's move on to our next color. This is green slime. I'm not sure that I want this to be my next color, actually. I'm gonna go with this one. This is peppermint. I tend to pre-select more colors that I end up using. And peppermint seems to be a little bit on the warmer side. And that's the look that I'm going for with these crystals. I want them to be obviously green. And again, there is actually science behind how I'm deciding where to place the lighter areas and where to place the darker areas. So if you're interested in learning the science behind it and in learning how to draw your own crystals, do check out the Udemy course. Absolutely loving the saturation on this. Just can't get over it. Even the fact that it's green, the, the texture of the pencil makes up for it. Even though I'm not at all a fan of the color green. But these pencils make it possible. They make it enjoyable. Again, hardly any pressure needed. I'm just touching the pencil to the page and ta-da! Pigment. Okay, that was fast. Uh, let's see what else we have here. I have a very light green that I chose. This is called Passion. And it's not even a light green it's like um it's like a chartreuse i would say let's add a little bit of that i don't want to add too much of it just a few highlights here and there i want these to be mostly light green crystals so i'm adding just a little bit of the chartreuse to make them sparkle a bit maybe a little bit to this to this glitter glimmer effect as well. I'm also adding the chartreuse over the nicely established green that I have to enhance the saturation in those areas. Okay, this is almost done. We only need to add one more element, maybe two more elements, the three elements that you need to add here. <laughs> Okay, one of the final elements that we need to add here is black. Now the Monarch set doesn't come with black. It does have a few very dark purples and blues, but it doesn't have solid black. This is a black pencil from one of the original Black Widow sets. This is a Black Widow called Black Widow. And I'm adding this black to the parts of the coloring that are already the darkest. And that's established with my line work and shading. And what this does is that it enhances the contrast, making the crystal look a little bit more glittery. And again, I go into the full science behind how contrast works in my, in my course. Very nice, very nice. Okay, now for the final effect, for, for real final. White gel pen. I'm using a Posca pen. They're my favorites. I have recently heard some very disturbing news about these Posca pens exploding though. I have not had enough feedback on this to make a formal announcement of beware of exploding Posca pens. Um, 
definitely not saying that but i have heard it from a few people at this point and when they they shape the pen before they start using it they have had it just leak out onto the page so i don't know i can't speak for these colorists i don't even know if they were using the pen correctly it is possible that they were shaking it too strongly that they were pressing on the page too strongly they could have had a defective pen the point is it happens and it happens with all brands not just with posca so when you do shape these gel pens I would recommend just to be safe, shake it over something that's not your coloring page and then test it. Make sure that it's not leaking or destroying anything. And if it's fine, then apply it to your page. And now I'm gonna make my lightest parts of the coloring pure white with this gel pen. My favorite thing about these gel pens is that I can apply the white pigment over all of the coloring that I've already done. So especially for shiny surfaces, it's a really, really cool trick. How funny would it be if this pen exploded live on the show? I mean, like, funny, not funny. Let's see what we can do with this little glimmer. I'm gonna call that done. That was really fast. That took me about 20 to 30 minutes total to do. We used only four colors on this, opal, emerald, peppermint, and passion. And we added black from a different Black Widow set and some white Posca pen for the highlights. So do try it out. If you don't have this page yet, if you're a patron, go to Patreon, grab this page and try it out. If you are coloring any other page, the same effect will apply. There are lots of crystal coloring pages out there. Lots of artists to have crystals in their characters. Plenty of opportunity to practice this effect. Do give the Monarch set a shot if you don't have this already. If you already know Black Widows and you don't have this set, it's a must. If you're brand new to Black Widows, I wouldn't actually start with this set. I would start with one of the basic ones because this one is very specific in terms of the color selection. It's mostly greens and blues. It doesn't even have red in it. It doesn't have black. It doesn't have white. It's all these earthy forest colors. Very, very specific, but totally worth it. It's also a larger set than all the other Black Widows. This has 48 pencils in it, while all the others have 24, I believe. Thank you so much, Albert Jones, for, for even making this set for us. It's definitely one of my favorites. And it helped me cure my fear of green, which is a huge accomplishment. No one ever thought it would happen. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, check out my crystals course if you are interested in more of this type of coloring and this technique, and also in learning how to draw them from scratch. Thank you so much patrons for making this channel possible. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.